Hello everyone, it's Michael here. Today I'm going to share with you everything I know about the Aurora Go parking garage elevators. This five-story parking garage was constructed in 2009, and it opened in 2010 as the station was receiving more train service. This garage also includes not one, but two entrances. One on Wellington Street East and one on Industrial Parkway South. Both entrances are located on the east end of the garage, so if you're looking for the elevators, you'll have to drive from the east end to the west end, one end to the other. In the event that you were to come to this garage and find that all five levels are full, that is a very common thing to happen here. As of assumingly 2018, um, levels two through five are all booked spots, so you'll have to book them if you're gonna park up there. Fortunately, all the spots on level one are free to use. Now let's move on to the elevators. These were installed by Kone with Innovation. Both the north and south elevators have amazing views out the rear window. However, I would say for the north elevators it's better if you do it in the daytime, because you won't be able to see much outside. But if you love light and shadow effects, you'll get a good example of that on Elevator 2. Also, if you're lucky, you may be able to see this. Well, we were just getting back from Vivian Road and this happened. Seems as though a GO train's pulling in. Okay. With the south elevators, you'll get a good view, night or day. Now let's talk about some of the past times I've been here. The first videos I've posted on these elevators were back in October 2015. And unlike nowadays, all four of the elevators had their fans turned on. And Elevator 1's fan happened to be the worst. Take a listen to this. On five. It was louder in person than it was on camera. Here's what Elevator 3's fans sounded like. That fan's annoying. That now, Elevator 3's fan sounds much like Elevator 4's fan. And here's what it sounded like. Go to the ground. No place to feel the lights. See, they, they, they replace the lights. One, one of them is burnt out. As of 2019, all the lights are LED now. That shaft up there will send us up to four where it parks. Even today, elevators two and four have their fans running. However, elevator two's fan is much louder. Elevator four's fan hasn't seemed to change a bit. Listen to this. And here's what Elevator 2's fan sounds like. Fifth floor. Sounds a lot like the elevators at the Royal Ontario Museum. Now do you guys remember when I said, Okay, I'm gonna take a risk here. Well, apparently Elevator 3 is known for not closing properly on the fifth floor and trapping people such as me and Ontario's Elevators in there for 8 seconds. This next clip is from a video by Ontario's Elevators. It's a mirror image of the other one. You got your finishing floor indicator. Uh, okay. Okay. Going down. 
All right, you know what? I'm getting off, okay. That was so close. Yep, it's broken. Anyways, that is it. I've been riding these elevators since 2011, and this is not new. After carefully analyzing the video, I heard that the doors did not lock. In order for an elevator to move, all the hoistway doors and elevator car doors have to be shut and locked. Well, there you have it folks, that's all I know about the Aurora Go parking garage and the elevators. I look forward to doing another video like this in the future. Until then, see you folks! Until next time, see you in the next video!